Hey everybody, this is Josh from CollectionDX.com and we're here with a review. This time we're going to do a group review of these awesome new Disney afternoon... D Disney... <laughs> I don't know what the actual the line is called, but they're Disney figures done by Funko. First we're going to look at Baloo from Tailspin. Uh, this is the only Tailspin character I think that they've released so far. He is awesome. I think Baloo was originally from the Jungle Book. I'm not entirely sure. But what a great action figure this is. Uh, first of all, he, I mean, he feels awesome. He feels like an old Kenner figure. It, it's really remarkable, the plastic. The, the legs have a cool old style. Just a it's really solid swivel. Uh, hexagonal peg holes in the feet, which is amazing. There is actually a, a waist there. And you've got some really good clicky uh, elbows. And these swivel and actually come out, which is nice. And Baloo's head is on a ball joint, rolls around. It's a really great figure. Here's a nice close up of Baloo's head. You can just see the detail and the mouth. It's the hat, the paint is just astounding on this. It's really great. Next up, we have Darkwing Duck, who is got a very large hat, <laughs> but even with the big hat, the detail on the on the face is just astounding. The paintwork is really great. The uh, cape is a rubber molded piece. There is a waist joint, same kind of arms that Baloo has with the clicky joints. This time he comes with a ray gun, which he doesn't hold well, I'll have to say that. You have to kind of turn it out to the side, but it holds it pretty good. Uh, again with the swivel legs, he... Again with the peg holes. Just a great figure. This is probably my favorite of the line, the Scrooge McDuck. The new, um, there's a new DuckTales, and, you know, there's a new Scrooge McDuck, but this is very clearly patterned after the, the original, and I mean, they're pretty similar. Wow, what a great figure. Even with the separately molded glasses that are clear, that actually line up with the eyes. It, it, I just It's just amazing. It's so well done. And I'm not even a huge fan of these characters, but I am a fan of well done action figures. And the the way that this thing is put together is great. Even the, the difference in finishes, like the Blue on the coat has almost like a textured feel to the paint, a very matte feel, but the uh, the white is very smooth. Uh, it is just extraordinary. Comes with two accessories. Comes with a cane, a little metal-ish cap, and a bag of money. Again, same articulation uh, on a ball for the head. Uh, I don't think there's a waist joint on this one. Oh, wait, there is. Discovered a waist joint. That's great, and. Of course, the feet move a little bit, and they have the holes again. Really nice little figures. The tails are separately molded pieces. Ah, just gorgeous. The only problem I have with Mr. Scrooge McDuck here is he is a little difficult to, to stand sometimes. Uh, you just have to be a little, you know, get just the right pose. And don't be afraid to move the arms out to, like, counterbalance him, and then you'll be fine. Next, from uh, Rescue Rangers, we have Chip and Dale and Zipper. Uh, Rescue Rangers was probably, the, I think, the one I like the most out of all the cartoons. And so far, we only have Chip and Dale. Chip comes by himself, and Dale comes with uh, Zipper. And I almost... There's <laughs> some weird things going on here. That doesn't it kind of... Like Mal and Wash from Firefly, or you know, Magna, you know, different Magnum PI. I, I don't know. I just thought it was a neat little thing. Uh, again, they're little guys, but the paint is really great. Uh, rotates here, your feet move, shoulders, same thing. This one, these actually have a pretty fair range of motion in the arms, and you can actually tell like there's a hinge in here that is painted orange on that side, but you can see the unpainted there, so it's a nice little bit of detail that they did. The tail has a little stripe color. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think maybe they share the same feet uh, for molds. Hard to say. 
uh, chip is all again really good. It's kind of our largest gap in mine in the chest area. If you push them together, you don't see it that much, but it's a little a bit out there. Really nice paint and articulation. So much stuff is molded in color. It really helps. The just the detail. You know, when you we watched the turtles video last time and we saw the little paint missing and the, like this just is a polar opposite of how to do a, a really phenomenal action figure. Granted, it's much smaller than the, the turtles. These are you know three and three quarter size figures, but man, they are so fun. They're just solid, solid, wonderful action figures. And then you have Zipper, who is, you know, this would be a, a molded throwaway character, I think, for other people. And for here, it's got five different paint applications, maybe six, on this little side accessory. So it's just a nice attention to detail. It's well molded. It's It's got as much detail in it as a proper action figure, which is definitely something that I, I appreciate. It's, there's nothing here is phoned in. It's just really great action figures. These Disney uh, action figures uh, arrive courtesy of Funko. I want to thank Funko for sending these over. They are phenomenal. They're just so well made. I can't say it enough. Uh, you know, just pure toy joy. Simple, sturdy, but not at the expense of being well made and well detailed and accurate with great sculpts. I'm definitely looking forward to more figures in this line. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.